Lucas Media. So rapper Saigon um, had some interesting things to say about Diddy. He said the brother D- Puffy flipped hip hop culture into an all worshiping nothing but dollar, but but money. That's why I'm kind of glad they got his. You know what? Up out of here. Up out of here. Go look at the content in hip hop music before all about the Benjamin song. Creativity mattered. He goes to say some other stuff. I ain't going to talk about it. But basically, he feels like Diddy ruined hip hop. Now, here's my opinion, Saigon. Do I think Diddy ruined hip hop? Absolutely not. Now, did Diddy bring a different genre or a different version of it? Sure. You know, but I mean, he had Biggie. He had the streets. You know, yeah, he tried to get a little flashy with Mace and all of that. But even in the 2000s, which Nelly says was the best era. You still had a diff. You had a whole genre of people. You had DMX. You had Fat Joe. You had Jay Z. You had Nas. You had Ludacris. Um, did I say Nelly? You had Nelly. Who else was? Pop- you even had the backpack rapper. You had the Talib Kweli's back in the day. Most Def and you had you had a an entire. genre of hip-hop this is why i personally feel like the late 90s early 2000s was like the golden era of hip-hop because and everything was hot it wasn't like nothing was trash the only really goofy music i heard and they were still talented was the yin yang twins you know they was more of the of the, of the silly rappers or whatever but we had talent like, I'm, I'm really trying to think so it's like Saigon I don't I don't believe that now what really ruined hip hop to a degree was the internet because when the internet came out it was no longer about talent yeah it was a gift and a curse but it really was no longer about talent like that as you just had to have a following and that's when the whole viral thing came and you seen what around 08, 09 ish, the lyrics, the music started to change and it went to, you know, how about the bed, turn my swag on. And this is somebody who was in that age group and didn't like it. I actually remember one of my cousins saying, I man, you tripping, man. They had their own turn, man. This our turn. I'm a minute, y'all, this music is trash, in my opinion. You know, so I don't think Diddy ruined the Saigon. I think that it was many, many things, but the number one thing, in my opinion, was that internet that really ruined it. It put certain people on, right? The internet put on Kodak Black and NBA Young Boys, and but look how much garbage came with it. The music is so bad now, in my opinion. I don't know who's on. I have to ask my son, who is this? Because everybody sounds the same. Everybody sounds like they're Atlanta mixed with Chicago or vice versa. So I don't, I'm not going to blame one person for that. And I can't remember. Didn't no reasonable doubt came out in 96. I mean, they was talking about, it was dropping gems and reasonable doubt about money and stuff. That's what I'm saying. Like it, mm, I can't agree with Saigon. Now, maybe they got something personal going on. Or whatever, and I remember Saigon, he was a dope artist, and it took years for his projects to come out. But I just I can't put it all on Diddy. I'm sorry. But I'm just giving my opinion. Tell me what y'all think.